Eddie Hearn at it again. I mean, this man just does not know how to keep his mouth shut. Let's talk about it. Push the weight in your flex. Flex the loudest one in the six. Hey, put the runner boy in the no question. Yo, you ain't one of motherfucking high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson. Hey, I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker change like a hoe. Nigga. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Well, I mean, you can't expect anything different from uh, Eddie Hearn and company. So um, I go uh, to a boxing scene just to see what's going on in the world of the sport. And um, I find this. Let's read some of this. Eddie Hearn. Wilder's confidence must be absolutely shot to pieces, made 642 excuses for the loss. 642 excuses for the loss. I'm glad he kept count. Ain't that funny? <laughs> yeah. I think Fury will win, but anything can happen right off the bat. Right off the bat. I think Fury could win, but anything can happen. He's not confident. He's not confident. Because a win is a win is a win is a win is a win. I'm wondering, and, and hit me up in the comments section. Did he say that when AJ fought Ruiz the first time? Did he say, I think AJ's going to win, but anything can happen? Or did he say, yeah, we're going to win and we're going to move on to other things? If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm off about that, hit me up. Let me know. I think Fury will win, but anything can happen, Hearn told the group of reporters recently. I mean, I think Wilder is so limited, but hits very hard. And he's always live and can beat anyone. Wow. For the fact that he has tremendous power, but he's so limited, so limited. And I think his confidence must be absolutely shot to pieces because he came out with 642 excuses for why he lost the second fight. He now has a completely different training team, and I don't know what's going through his head very interesting Eddie how many excuses do you have for this fight between AJ and Fury not happening you see you see Eddie you really need to worry about your own business this fight has nothing to do with you and I know that the reporters asked you they're gonna ask you because they put you in the middle of this you ran around and tried to get undisputed done speaking of undisputed speaking of undisputed Eddie, how many excuses did you have for not getting Undisputed done before Wilder lost the title? Because I swear to God you had a million and two since you want to put direct numbers on it. 642 excuses Wilder had for losing the Fury. You must have had a thousand and two as to why you couldn't get Undisputed done. With AJ... Deontay Wilder. How many excuses did you have when AJ lost to Andy Ruiz? I know Anthony Joshua got up off the floor and said when his dad uh, tried to run across the ring and strangle you, something to that effect, and AJ had to save your life, say, hey, dad, it's not them, it's me. Okay, AJ, you know what it is. You know what it is. AJ took his loss like a man, so we thought. Later on, he said, Andy got lucky. He just landed a punch from the gods. It wasn't a punch. It was a few punches, but whatever. And in the same breath, Hearn is also concerned, though to a lesser degree, that Fury won't be able to get up for his third pay-per-view fight with Wilder following his disappointments of the lucrative showdown with Anthony Joshua falling apart. Already he disarmed his entire argument. I hope y'all caught that. I hope y'all caught that. He just disarmed his entire argument. He also goes on to say, this is on boxing scene. The link is going to be in the, in the description. So you can read it yourself. Um, he also goes on to say that AJ was so 
uh, 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 set on train. He was training for Jarrell Big Baby Miller. And then when he turned around and had to fight Ruiz after Miller popped dirty, it was like trying to put the the, the circle block into the, uh, the the circle into the square block. Y'all get what I'm saying? Listen, he's saying that uh, AJ, you know, he was uh, handicapped by taking Andy Ruiz the Andy Ruiz fight on three weeks' notice. Andy Ruiz was supposed to be food going into there. What was your excuse then, Eddie? AJ took his loss like a man. Or did he? Remember? Punch for the gods? Yeah? Why didn't you get undisputed done, Eddie? Listen, man, you're living in a big old greenhouse, a glass house, and you're throwing rocks and spark plugs. You know what happens when you take a spark plug and you throw it at a piece of glass? Bust the whole glass out. A spark plug. So dense. Eddie, you got a suit made of spark plugs and you lean leaning on the glass, my friend. Not only does this fight no longer concern you, but don't try and disarm your own argument. Too late, you already did. I just read it to you. First, you said that Wilder's not going to win. Basically, that's what you said because he made all these excuses and he's feeling bad and all this other ridiculous stuff that you've said in the past. Right? Then you're talking about you're worried about Fury's mental state because he had his heart set on AJ and now he's got to fight Deontay. Still in all, whether it was AJ or Deontay, the man had his shirt off at the first press conference. Did it look like he was training? Nope. How are you going to make a statement and then disarm your own argument? I'm reading between the lines, Eddie. You're picking Fury to win because that's what you want. And the only thing you can say is Deontay making excuses and you're assuming he's feeling bad. How did assuming work out for you all 2020, leading up into 2021? How did that work out for you? You assumed that Bob Arum was going to do right by you. Banana in the tailpipe. You really thought that you was going to take this fight to Saudi Arabia. Didn't even bother to say, yo, look, let's try and get this in the UK. You want to try and get your license back, Tyson? No. Because I believe that that's against Bob Aaron's better judgment. Get your license back. No, no, no. Because if you lose, you'll lose your license over there for eight years. If you want to do that, make sure I'm out of the red with you first. Because remember, he said that he's in the red with uh, Tyson Fury. As far as business is concerned, remember that? I love it when these guys talk. You read the article. The link will be in the description. Read it yourself. While they're gonna lose according to him. But at the same time, at the same breath, scroll down and read. He's also worried about Fury. Having his heart set on AJ, but now he gotta fight Wilder. But guess what, Eddie? Bob Arum said the whole time you knew that that was a possibility. So as a professional, shouldn't Tyson Fury have been in the gym the whole time? You know who has been in the gym the whole time? Deontay Wilder. He had three camps, according to Malik Scott. This is the third one. So the whole time y'all was running around in the courtrooms and you, you running down to Saudi Arabia talking to uh, uh, the princes and everybody else. You know what was happening? Deontay Wilder got his facility together on his property. It was getting ready for smoke. So while y'all was shucking and jiving, he was grinding. And we smiling, boss. While y'all was shucking and jiving, Deontay was grinding, and here we are smiling. From the Bronx, it's easy for me, man. Come on now. You contradicted yourself in the same article, man. Really? Yeah, this is boxing. It could go either way. It could go either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
It can. But you don't sound confident. If it was a wash, you would say it's a wash. But Eddie, you've been lying to us for how long now? But here's the deal. Keep that same energy, that undisputed energy. Keep that same energy. Because after Deontay wins, you can still get undisputed. Get past Usyk, which I think AJ will. Get past Usyk, right? Get past Usyk. And keep that same energy for undisputed. By the way, is it true you signed for a rematch clause? For Usyk? I know, just in case you lose, right? Mm-hmm. Chestnut checkers. But y'all go read the article. Don't take my word for it, but read the article. Out. Move!